Hey everyone, in this quick tutorial, we are going to add a health bar to the enemy so that we can know its HP. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, go ahead and check them out. We are making a third person game. And before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the notifications bell. And let's jump right into it. So in this video, I want to add a health bar on top of the enemy so that we can see its health. To do that, first we need to create the health bar. Basically, I will use the slider, which is a UI element that we can create under the scene. But before we create it, we need to create a canvas because each UI element needs to be under a canvas. Under the hierarchy, let's right click UI then let's use a canvas I'm gonna call it enemy canvas then we can create a slider using right click UI and let's use a slider but this slider is gonna be on the screen as you can see it's in the middle and to be able to move this slider inside our scene we can select the canvas and from the inspector we need to change the render mode by default it is screen space we can change it to world space so that we can change its position like any kind of object inside the scene so let's go under the scene window and double click on it so it's very big let's reduce the scale I'm gonna change it to 0 0.01 on the X the Y and the Z then let's double click on it let's reset the position then I want to move it under the enemy which is the nightmare dragon let's drag it under this nightmare dragon and reset the position again now it's gonna be in the middle of our enemy I want to move it on top a bit and let's change few settings for example I want to change the height to 40 and I want to remove the handle and it is this object I'm gonna hit delete you could also change the background color from the inspector let's give it a red one and the fill color to a green color then we'll be able to change its value from the script basically we've added an HP variable under a dragon script we could simply use the HP variable to change the value of the slider as you can see we have this value property and it's updating our health bar let's change the name to health bar also we can remove the interactable option because we don't want to interact with this slider also we don't need a transition so I'm gonna select none and finally I want to change the maximum value to 100 because the enemy HP is between 0 and 100 you could also check whole numbers because we have declared the HP variable as an integer now we can move on to the script that is attached under the nightmare dragon and if you didn't watch the video about the dragon script make sure to check out our previous video the link will be under the video description let's double click on it to open it up you will notice that I'm not using Visual Studio that's because I've changed the operating system of my computer I'm using Ubuntu because I think it's better for me but if you're still using Windows don't worry we still have the same game engine which is Unity and I will download Visual Studio for my next videos under this script we have declared this public variable which is the enemy HP we can use it to update the health bar of the enemy but before that, we need to use the namespace unity engine.ui so that we can declare a slider variable using unity engine.ui. Then let's add a reference to the slider using public slider. And let's call it health bar. We're gonna reference it from the inspector. And to update its value parameter, we can use the update method so let's declare void update 
So this method is called over and over again each frame. We could use health bar dot value equals the HP value. And that's pretty much it. And I think I'm going to use this variable as private because I don't want to accidentally change the enemy HP from other scripts. Then let's go under the hierarchy and let's select the nightmare dragon. And under the dragon script, we need to reference the health bar. And let's hit play. By default, it is 100. And let's try to hit it. As you can see, it's updating. But we have one problem. The health bar is not rotating towards the player. As you can see, if I move around, we can't see the enemy health bar clearly. And basically, we need to rotate it towards the player camera so that we can see it. And to do that, I'm going to attach a script to this enemy canvas. Under the scripts folder, Nightmare, let's right click, create, C sharp script. We can call it look at player. Then let's attach it to the enemy canvas. And let's open it up. First, I will add a reference to the camera using public. Transform. We only need the transform of the camera. And let's call it cam. Then under the update method, we could use transform. And we have a predefined method that is called look at. We can use dot look at. And we need to look at the camera by passing in the cam parameter. Before we save the script, I'm going to get rid of the start method. Also, instead of using the update method, I will use the late update. So it's like the update method. It is called each frame. And as the name suggests, it is called after the update method. And that's what we want because we want to update the health bar position and orientation after we change the camera position when we look around with the mouse. Let's save the script and go back into Unity. Then we need to select the enemy canvas and under the script look at player, let's reference the main camera and let's hit play. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. I appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one.